Hey guys, it's me, Panto6, and today I have a surprise unboxing. Um, as you guys know, I like Magic the Gathering, I like it a lot, and I've had plenty of unboxings, but I haven't done one in a while. And I figured that this would be a good time to do it, um, and hopefully, maybe later on, we can do this some more. Now let's go ahead and get cracking into it. This is a fat pack. It's not going to be one of those nice, nice boxes um, that I used to. Let's see. Okay. Well, I can't find my my knee, my knee, but it's okay. We'll just go like this. Ah, no, 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 no. If you guys are familiar with Oath of the Gate Watch, this is in the Zendikar block, which introduced, well, reintroduced the full art lands and with these babies here you get a whole pack of 80 full art lands which is pretty damn nice uh, so let's go ahead and get cracking here now with every fat pack you get your little book and you get a poster which let me see if I can get this thing open so you guys can see it it's kind of cool I like them fat packs are actually kind of nice just for the content you get. There we go. Poster. Poster. I'm doing this at a weird angle because um, I think this might be a better angle uh, to unbox at. So we'll find out. Um, now the lighting is a little off, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and bust this out here. All right. So with every single fat pack. You get this nice little box of holding. <laughs> so that's that's worth something there. And you get two deck box holders that so if you want to make a deck you can put it in this. It's not gonna help you if you have sleeves, so I don't I wouldn't recommend them. Alright, so let's get into the good stuff. Okay, so now cool thing about Oath is they have these new things. They are Waste. It's a new type of land, and I believe I could be wrong. There should be 15 of those in here. Yes, yes, there's 15 of these guys laying around. I don't think they'll reprint these, um, honestly, but those are something I would recommend keeping. So if you want your full art lands and you want to have them look pretty in your deck, there we go. I would highly suggest getting this. Now, uh, there was a little bit of price gouging there for a little while with um, the Battle for Zendikar when it came out. But one of the things that's really big is the um, addition of the Expeditions. Uh, those are the lands that's going to give you money. So a fat pack has nine packs. Also has a spin down. So if you're not familiar with spin down, hang on. Come on, light. Oh my gosh, the lighting is so bad. Eh, forget about it. Okay, so I'm going to fix this up a little bit more. Like I said, I do apologize. This is a different way of doing things than I normally do. Um, so, there we go. Let's go ahead and get pack one. So, you should get one, at least one full art land with each pack. That's how it worked with in the car. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut straight to the uncommons. That's usually what I try to do. Okay. So our first uncommons we have, we have Walker of the Waste, Immolating Glare, and Gift of Tusks. So let me go ahead and show you guys these. There we go. So just in case you've never seen those cards. And we got our, this. I call them Tango Lands, but this is the, from the new set, it's the Hissing Quagmire. Oh, the light is killing it. There we go. That's it is what it is. Also got a full art swamp and a Zambi token. So I'm just going to set all these right here. Not too worried about the uncommons and commons, but let's keep on going here. Just see where we're going. What we 
we'll have hopefully to get an expedition. And one thing I do really like about oh sweet okay we got something cool back here. All right, so we're going straight to our uncommons again. We have Harvester Troll, Reflector Mage, which I like Reflector Mage. I think it's a good card. And Bonds Morality. Uh, there we go. Alright. So, didn't expect this to happen already. But, we got a Planeswalker. Chandra. Flame Color. Awesome, 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 awesome. And an Island. And an Eldrazi Scion. So, that's a good start. Good start for um, that. I think the last time I opened up a fat pack, um, I think I pulled... I think I pulled Gideon? This was when um, uh, Zendikar came out, so... I'll have to go back on it. I think you can go back and check it on my previous videos, so... Okay... Straight to Young Commons. What do we have here? We have Birthing Hulk, Iona's Blessing, and Visions of Brutality, which kind of looks like a White Walker. Okay. There you go. I'm trying to get it where you can see the light better. Hopefully, maybe one of these days, um, once we get caught up and everything, we can get a nicer lighting set. So our rare is Sifter of Skulls. There we go. It's an Eldrazi. Planes. And a Night Ally. So again we'll put our rares and our mythics right in here. Alright, so we got one more pack there and then we have more max. Are we going to pull an expedition, or are we not going to pull an expedition? I would cry if I pulled an expedition. Uh, of course I didn't pull an expedition. I saw that blue. I was like, no. Definitely not an expedition. So, straight to our own combos again. We got Prophet of Distortion, Reckless Bushwhacker, and Press into Service. Give that to this to you guys. There we go. Not too, not too good, not too good. Uh, let's see, our rare is Captain's Claw. There we go. Next time, I'm not doing this angle. Alright, we also got a foil. This is Jawar Isle Avenger. There we go. It's kind of pretty. A forest. And another Eldrazi Scion. Okay. So let's see what we got here. One, two. We got five more packs to go. Now if you get if you're watching this tomorrow, um, I, w I want to let you guys know that hopefully tomorrow evening there'll be a couple new videos. Um, especially one for the game feed and another for a let's talk and it's actually gonna be pretty good um, so now I can't move my shoulder that much right now so you, you probably won't. <sighs> not what I thought it was I almost shit my pants <sighs> but anyways I can't really move my shoulder that well um, had a problem um, like I can't move it completely up um, got hurt and it sucked so our uncommons here we have cliffhaven vampire tears of valakut and this is judgment there we go all right so our rare is overwhelming denial There we go. And our foil rare is Ruins of Orin Wreath. 
So really, that's one thing I like about fat packs are just randomized. You don't really know what you're going to get. And compared to the box, like boxes, they just come right off the line, not completely randomized. So you, sometimes it's better to get a fat pack, but you're better off just buying singles, actually. Or if you want to play the... How the hell does that happen? Okay. Okay, that's crazy. Uh, deja vu with this pack. Alright, ally are uncommons. Allied reinforcements, grasp of darkness, and this is judgment. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it works. Okay, now, <laughs> like I said, I'm having a little bit of um, deja vu. Because that's our second one. We pulled we've pulled two Chandras. So one fat pack. <laughs> two planeswalkers. I'm I'm cool with that. That's a cool one. We also got a foil foil rare, so maybe we'll get an expedition. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Uh, definitely not. So, our uncommons again. We have Kozl's Toll Collector, Embodiment of Insight, and Storm Chaser Mage. Oh my god, how terrible. And this card is actually pretty good too. Um, I know a lot of people liked it when it came out, but this is the land. Um, it becomes a creature. This is wandering Thumeral. That's cool. No planes, no plant. All right, two more packs, guys. I think it's worth at least getting one of these. Um, if if you're Wanting to have a f set of full art lands, I don't think you can really go wrong here. Uh, so let's see here. Right, on commons, We've got Cinder Barons, Devour in Flames, a Relentless Hunter. And our rare, Oath of Gideon. Swamp. Another Swamp. And our last pack. Gotta beat the pack. Alright. Let there be expedition. My god, please let it happen. I doubt it will, but. I can already tell you now. No expedition. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think we did pretty good this um, fat pack. So our uncommons. Cliffhaven, Vampire, Storm Chaser, Mage, and Iona's Blessing. Cards we've already seen before. Our rare is a Corrupted Crossroad. Rare land. Island and Elemental. So, we didn't do too bad. Not bad at all. Let me go ahead and just go through our rares again. Corrupted Crossroads. Oath of Gideon. Wandering Fuma Roll. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. There you go. <laughs> Double Chandra. Overwhelming Denial. Captain's Claw. Sifter of Skulls. Hissing Quagmire. Our foil rare was Ruins of Orin Reef. So overall, that was actually a good good thing. Um, I think that that fat pack, pack pretty much paid for itself there. Um, now, hopefully next time I can get a get a hold of. It'd be nice to get a hold of maybe a Zendikar one, and also possibly um, Shadows of In This Thread. I have not opened anything from that set yet. I missed all the festivities that would go with that and. 
hopefully, hopefully soon that will change. So, 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 so. That being said, guys, I have one more thing to talk about. Um, no, you see my sweaty, sweaty, nasty, hairy face. I just got off work, but I am working on a project. It's called Bits and Pieces Come Together. And what it is, it is a game store that also helps people that suffer from anxiety disorders, rather it be depression, you know, anxiety, uh, if people that's been abused or thoughts of suicide. Um, I started a GoFundMe account. We hit $110 yesterday, thanks to Boogie2988, as well as his friends and some people that, um, that's, you know, just donated. Now, this thing is really, really it means a whole lot to me, and I'm hoping this thing kicks off. There's a lot of people that sees the idea, they think it's going to do great, and if it does, um, this will help the gaming community. Um, this will show that, you know, not all gamers are, you know, poison, and we do like to help each other. As far as I am concerned, the gaming community is some of the most generous people and the nicest level-headed people but I am happy to be or be around them. But that's just like any other community. You're always going to have your bad eggs. But if this thing kicks off and it does become really successful, I just want you to know I thank you so much for all the um, support. And hopefully you guys will continue watching my videos as time goes by. And we can do more awesome things. And i also like to thank everybody so far that has donated. Um, if you guys want to check it out, go to www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Now, I'm not telling you you have to donate, but if you do, that would be so awesome. But if you wouldn't care, just feel free to share. Just tell your buddies, tell your friends, tell, have their friends tell their friends, have their friends tell their dogs or get carrier pigeons or talk to their grandmas, uh, poltergeist, something. <laughs> just let everybody know about it. Um, again, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll have a couple more videos out. And I definitely appreciate um, all the support again. And also hit like and subscribe because as this grows and the business thing grows, it'll be awesome. And I will love you for it all the time. But guys, thank you so much for watching us. And you guys have a wonderful day. And I can't stop loving you